Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're gonna talk about the 1960s television show, Get Smart. I wanna thank all of you for being such great supporters of my channel, and I wanna dedicate this video to a loyal subscriber of mine named Annie. Annie is going through some health issues at the moment, but she has been so inspirational for others on the channel, appearing on some of my live streams, encouraging my videos, saying that they make her happy, that they just enlighten her life. And to me, that is an honor, such a humbling thing to hear. We really all wanna wish her healing and the opportunity to get better very, very quickly. So please, in the comments below, wish her nothing but good positive amazing healing thoughts it would be really appreciated so this video is for you annie to enjoy thank you so much for all of your love and support to each and every single one of you now the episode i'm speaking of from get smart is called weekend vampire now it aired december 18th 1965 which is kind of strange because it makes it kind of a christmas episode in regards to when it came out but the whole theming was very halloweeny so that's an interesting note right there. It is from season one, it's episode 14. And in this episode, control agents wind up dead with marks that look like vampire bites. Of course, Maxwell Smart is trying to investigate to see what is going on, who the killer is, and the motive and so forth. It's a funny episode where he and 99 go to this mansion. It is super creepy, but it is so much fun. In fact, this is one of my favorite genres in TV and movies, especially in classic TV. It's the horror comedy. Many say that the movie Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein is the first horror comedy that came out in regards to a movie and I think that would be true but I mean coming back to this episode it is a good one and there is a very cool and interesting moment that I want all of you to pay attention to. It happens when we see Agent Maxwell Smart as well as 99 coming up pulling up to the mansion in a car. Now while they're inside the car they're trying to pretend like they're a newlywed couple on their honeymoon, and they're trying to, of course, investigate what is going on. You know, spy stuff. Well, as they get out of the vehicle, you will see that they're in front of this gate and this wall. It's also a dark and stormy night with thunder and so forth. But if you look very closely in the background when the quote-unquote lightning hits the scene, you'll notice that the flash of the fake lightning um, actually shines in the background it reflects off of the back screen the back panel that it's actually like a dark blue that they use and you can see where it is draped along the side of the studio sound stage so in fact the camera edge went too far out and unfortunately you could see what is going on it broke the illusion of the show essentially now what is cool about seeing the scrim and the back wall of the sound stage is that it breaks that illusion of the fact that we're outside. In fact, many scenes like this in TV shows and movies are filmed inside so you can control the space. And if you weren't any wiser, you would think that they were outside really parked in front of this big mansion. But no, it's just a small set and the camera creates the illusion of another location which they would be at. But if you notice this at the corner of the screen, then you will notice how they did it. So I wanted to point out this amazing blooper to you. I pointed out before, but I wanted to point it out specifically in this regard to how you can see the edge to the sound stage, and you can see everyone else in it. I don't know why they didn't notice this in editing. They could have chopped it up a little bit, but no, it came out in the final unedited cut, and you could still see it in syndication if this episode airs. I want to know your thoughts. Have you seen this episode? Are you a fan of Get Smart? And did you ever notice this pretty cool and awesome blooper that they did not want you to see? Because here it is for you to see. Now that you've seen it, you cannot unsee it. So I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for your support. And don't forget, no matter what you're going through, what struggle, what difficulty, always try to stay positive, stay motivated, and move forward. It is extremely important. And no matter what, always be hopeful. Thank you to all my supporters, especially my Diamond Tier patrons. Christopher K, John O, David D, Sally N, Jerry D, Vito L, Citizen Kane, Jennifer P, and Kevin K. If you want to be on this list, make sure to check out the link in the description. It's all of you patron members who make my channel possible. Thanks!